Well, Mama, Matthew, you guys had a really important job today. Was it was it quite scary up there? We've organised this whole event. <laughs> <laughs> the world was watching. <laughs> well, no, they don't let us be in charge of anything too important because I don't think that would be a good idea. But yes, we did have to read the cards. It's just quite scary. But they made us do it three times so that we wouldn't get it wrong. Yeah, no, no, nothing, nothing too hard. Change. No Polish directors in there, luckily. Yeah. Changing them as you go along yeah. Yeah. <laughs> for the ones that you really want to be in. Yeah, yeah it's a, a lot of power. <laughs> <laughs> Were you, are you happy with the, the nominations that are in there? I mean, you've got a vested interest in the, the, the leading actor nomination yeah. there. Oh, it's lovely to see Colin Firth get, get nominated. I think I think, it's, I think it's one of the really good performances of the year and I think it's one of the, one of the best things he's ever done. So that was really nice for a single man. Because you're you, film fans, I'm assuming, so it's kind of you know nice to, to have a, an opinion on what's up there. Are you, are you happy with, with what's in there? Are there surprises for you for what's nominated? I was, I was really pleased that a single man, a serious man, um, the Hurt Locker and an educational got nominated. But also, I have to say, one of my favourite films this year was Fish Tank. Mm. And I was so pleased that that got recognised um, for Best British Film. And, and, and even if it doesn't win, I think it was it, the nomination hopefully will really help people watch it because it is an amazing piece of work. That category is just a really great snapshot of how great British cinema is, isn't it? That, it that is. category. And it's the things like, you know, I mean, like Michael Fassbender, who's becoming, you know, who's just a legend in his own right, mostly, but, and then uh, and Tom Hardy as well, who gave a couple of really extraordinary performances this year. So it's very tough categories to get into. Yeah. It's, um, it, you know, you look at young people's or actually like, like Saoirse, who's back for a second nomination. Yeah. What, she's like 16 or something? She's old hat at this now, basically. Yeah. She's not that much of a big deal, really, because I've done this a few times. But... I spit them in with my GCSEs. Yeah. That's yeah. what she does. Who, who would you really love to see walk away with an, with an award on the night? Then? I think Kerry Mulligan really deserves to Absolutely. win for an education. And I'd love to see Colin Firth. You know, an all British affair would be very nice. Yeah, it would. We'd yeah. Be, I mean, the, an education up there, you know, topping the, the, the table, eight nominations up there with, with Avatar and Heart Locker. It's great, isn't it? Yeah, I, I also, I mean, personally, I'd really love to see Catherine Bigelow win a Best Director Award yeah. for, for the Hurt Locker because, I mean, it's so astonishing for a female director to be nominated at that kind of film as yeah. well and that genre as well. I'd, I'd love to see that. And that's why it's great for Nowhere Boy as well because Sam Taylor Wood yeah. also another, you know, very strong showing for, from a, you know, for, as a debut from her. So. Yeah. Really and yay to Andy Circus for getting yay yeah, to yeah. Andy Circus. He's amazing. You know, it's about it's about sort of time he gets recognised. Yeah. He's been so strong for so long, I and uh, I haven't seen Sex Drugs and Rock yet, but I hear it's just an extraordinary right, performance. Yeah. Well, well done today. You held it so well up there. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way that it's like, well, yeah, well, we've done a really you great did. job. You had a job to do and you did it well. <laughs> we did it. We nailed it. <laughs> uh, we'll see you on the night, hopefully. Yes, thanks. Okay, thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you.